You know, when I was a little kid, I used to hate leaving a party, like a special event, a family get together. I was like, wow, now what? You know, we've had such a great time and now we're going home and now what? And I was like, ah, it felt so empty. You know, in life, there's a differentiation between um, having a good time, having fun, and having true happiness. Happiness is something that's continuous, that continues um, most of the time. It's not like, hey, I'm happy now because I'm at a party. I'm happy, period. That's it. I'm not happy because of this, or I'm not happy because of that, or I won't be happy when that happens. I'm happy today. I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with the opportunity to grow, to progress, to live, to love, to, to, to just experience all of these gifts and these blessings. And, you know, all of the things that we need are available for us abundantly for free. All of the major things, oxygen, you know, water, all these. So all these things we need that are, are just available for us. So being happy is is not about just a short term, you know, experience. Um, and that's why people can get very happy. They can drink a lot. Some people can take different kinds of substances and they feel good for the moment. But then it wears off. And then they need to take more of the substance or the alcohol or whatever to get that same effect. And it just wears off. And that's why to really truly be happy, it's a state of mind. It's a commitment to a standard that you're going to be happy no matter what. Your happiness will never be given away to anybody or anything. That's what happiness means. Oh my gosh, the world, things are happening. You still got to be happy. Oh my gosh, personally, you still got to be happy. That's what this is about. I mean, again, the last two years or so, just had the anniversary from the Papa's Yard site. Um, second Adar is going to be the main one. And, you know, God willing, but that's the the other. And my birthday is also within a few days of that. And you know what? The two years have been very, very muscle building, emotional muscle building times. You know, everything I could think of was turned upside down. You know, everything stopped. I'm a socialite. I love to be around people. Can't do that. Okay. I, I, I just, you know, you know, love to give and love to spend time. And now you have to be home. Okay, great. I mean, I love my family. I have to be home. That's good. But what I'm saying is at the end of the day, the last two years... I learned to be not only as happy as I have been in the past, like my peaks, but to actually break through. And I'm more happier today than I've ever been. And how's that? You know, I lose my father. My business went all the way down the drain. So much uncertainty. And yet I live beautifully. And yet, yet I'm happy. And now things are coming back and things are going to soar back harder than ever. But the point is, why was I happy? It was because of standards. Another word for standards are rituals. Things that you do on a daily basis that make all the difference between being one place or another. You know, and it's like, imagine you have, you know, two guys going the same way, right? Straight. And then one of them takes a little detour to the right and the other one's still going straight, okay? Over time, he'll end up on the other side of the world. And that's what rituals and standards are. You might be like, well, it's just a small ritual. What is this going to do for me? A little tiny drop. No, no, no. It's about the rituals you do on a day-to-day -day basis. The small steps you take. People think, I need to make a massive change to change my life. Well, maybe you do. But really, the reality is, it's about one small step one small change, one commitment to do on a regular basis every single day. That will change everything. So what happened was I basically raised my standards and I started to have rituals practically every single day. 
I still, you know, till today, I do my best to continue that. And the rituals are appreciation, which is gratitude, progress, which is growth, and contribution, giving beyond yourself. So what does that mean? Every day, practically, um, I, I start my day, I end my day with, with gratitude, with you know, I have like 30 things I have a list of, but there's many more. You can go on and on. You know, thank you, God, for my body. Thank you, God, for my soul. Thank you, God, for my family. Thank you for my hands, my feet, my ability to talk, technology. Just thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for living in America. Thank you for food. Thank you for a roof over my head. And I go on and on and on. And, I'm, and I feel it with passion. And that's the first step. Gratitude. The second step that I take on a daily basis is growth. I'm always growing. I'm always studying. Some people complain, like, what are you doing? Turn that down. Why do you always have somebody in the background? You know, I always have someone in the background, usually. You know, most times, not Shabbat, but on 20 weekdays. I'm listening to people that have spent decades, have spent their lives doing good, helping others, breaking through. And I study and I learn. You know, that's why it says, Talmid Chacham. You always got to be a student. You always got to learn. And I don't know if I'm a Talmid Chacham, far from it, but I'm growing. But my point is, I'm always studying. So I'm always growing. I'm always looking to improve with the falls, with the downs to go up. You know, like it says in in, in Masechet Makot, Yiridashi Tzorchaliya. Sometimes you got to go down to go up. So that's what I do. And, you know, I fail a lot. And... I think we all do, but then people, some people think you got to have perfection to be happy. No, 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 no. You got to grow to be happy. You got to progress to be happy. Failure is important. Actually, a really big question is, did you fail today doing something that you were uncomfortable pushing yourself the extra mile? And if you didn't, then that's something you should change. You should be failing every day because failure leads us to success. Failure leads us to progress and growth and all of these wonderful things. So that's the second step that I engaged in on a daily basis. The third step was contribution giving, which is what I'm doing right now. And I've been doing for, for probably this whole period, but beyond, but this whole you know two years, I'm producing content. I'm creating videos. I'm trying to give love. I'm trying to give to help, to give, and I'm not getting paid for this. Some people are like, what are you doing? Leave me alone, I don't need this. And if they don't, they don't, okay, they're lost. But my point is giving, contributing, realizing that life is all about we and not me. It's all about giving, it's about contributing. It's all about what can I do? How can I be of service to you, to help you? So appreciation, gratitude, uh, progress, growth, and contribution giving. That's the things I engaged in in the last year. And they brought, the, actually the last two years, you know, a lot more. But, and I, that's what helped me live beautifully. Losing my father, losing my businesses, not knowing what to expect. All the other things going around me, you know, my, you know, people around me, close relatives getting sick. Thanks God, thank God, thanks, thanks God. Thank God, uh, most of them got better and are back to themselves and better than ever. But my point is all these things and I learned to live beautifully because I've realized that it's not about your conditions. It's about the decisions you make that create your experience. What do things mean? What am I going to focus on? What am I going to do? How am I going to grow? How am I going to progress? So the point here, as we're about to enter Shabbat on this Rosh Chodesh Adar, my favorite time of the year, well, Nisan too, Pesach, but, um, and my birthday, right? My birthday, my 24th of Adar, both months. Uh, second month is the Iker. So, um, so what do we do? Is this time of Adar, as we go and we commit to live beautifully, to live happily, to raise our standards. And that's what this is about. Misha Nichnas Adar Marvin Besimcha. It doesn't say matchilin besimcha. It says marbin. It means you enter into udder. It's like you're entering into a gas station. You're filling up the fuel to for the whole year. Getting that simcha for the whole year. Yes, yes, and yes. So whatever's holding you back from living beautifully, smash it, destroy it. Make that commitment today that you're going to start living beautifully every day and you're going to live from appreciation, gratitude, progress, growth, contribution, and giving. Okay? Always remember to shift on with Shiftan Senegilat.